Can we get a wave? No, no waves. No, no, nope. no. We're we're not wanted here. What's up, machines and machine freaks? Hope you guys are enjoying your day and having a froggy fresh one. I'm gonna start my day by cleaning up the Seca. This beautiful thing. As you guys saw yesterday, we got this thing running. I got a five dollar bill here. Let's see what that'll do. Not too bad on the bug factor. However, the uh, the engine could use a little bit of decrutting. Mr. Abraham Lincoln will help me with that. They don't call him Honest Abe for nothing. Get it, get it, there you go. <laughs> My money's no good here, I guess. There you go, Abe, you did it right. Well, I could do that at this casino. Out of all my vehicles, that one took the least amount of time out of everything. I think the second would probably be a dirt bike, third would probably be my truck, and fourth is Crush. Crush, is, crush gets to be a filthy animal. Let's get out of here. Dang, that thing looks pretty good. I'm gonna grab my ramps while I'm at my house. I gotta load that bike in the back of my truck so that tomorrow morning I can meet Jason on the throughway, throw that that bike into either his trailer or his truck. We'll go down to this event in Ohio, see what's going on, and then uh, hopefully cruise around. Um, this thing is illegal for the road. You can't drive it on the road because it's not registered or insured. I mean, you could, but any anyways, I guess at this event, you may not need that stuff. Still gotta talk to Jason about that. One thing's for sure, we're gonna need these ramps for the bike operation. So I just text Jason the question, I guess we're gonna leave 715 at the meetup location. One thing that's gonna possibly happen though, on our way up to load this bike and unload this bike, is we're gonna have World War B. He's all pumped up, ready to go. We're at a sketchy location, unloading bikes, moving bikes, transporting bikes. We unloaded his bike so that we can put my bike on his trailer. Take one vehicle. Holy smokes. How many are there? They're still going. Yeah, we passed a few before. Still you going. America in Ohio. We just made it to the event. We literally just turned the truck off. There are so many vehicles here, so many bikes here. They even got a plane up in the sky. We probably won't even see it. Yeah, the sign right there. They have a think up in the sky advertising to all these people that's how many people are at this event it's it's not but the Seika made it here and then Jason's two bikes made it here I guess he calls this a monkey bike and this has like a six and a half horse uh, predator engine on it and then that's I don't know he'll tell you more about that but that's a Honda 175 XL I guess the Seika battery is dead it's shot it's it's completely shot so every time I park I either have to get my battery pack out and jump it or park on a hill or just not turn it off and just keep cruising one or the other worst case scenario if I get sick of bump starting it I'll just maybe use uh, J one of Jason's vehicles if he lets me Jason the viewers want to know about this Honda what year is it it's 1978 1978 and what year is the uh, monkey bike here yeah, it's a 60 something is it yeah, a little Indian. with modern technology well with a modern harbor freight like I said, modern technology. <laughs> Only the finest. That's all! I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of that. More than you know. Oh, we just busted this thing out, not more than 24 hours, and we're already gonna try to sell it. I'm also gonna try to start it for the second time. Like I told you guys yesterday, this thing hasn't started in like 400 days, so hopefully the second time, the second round here goes, goes decent. Uh, if it'll boost a regular car, it should be able to boost a bike. If you leave it running for a good part of the day, you might even get some charge back. Oh. You haven't seen the video yet. Oh, is it, well, uh, I, I had is it, it boiled dry? Yeah, dude, it's shot. Because I, I had it plugged in for like eight hours. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Uh, the horn when you barely work. I had two bikes do that over the winter. So what we're going to have to do is definitely park on hills. Or just leave leave it running. Or, or become acquainted with a lot of people and just have a lot of people push me. <laughs> I can, it's no big deal, I can push you. Oh! oh. Like, like she just went to bed a little bit. We went for like a 15 minute cruise or so. 
didn't have to turn off the bikes. We haven't had a bump start. I parked on a hill just recently, turned it off for the first time. I know the battery's gonna be dead. But we were uh, cruising around here at the swap meet, I guess. Jason says they got 20 acres of swap meet. So we've just been looking at some stuff. Uh, I saw one thing that I was interested in. It was like a little pit bike thing. What about you, Jason? You see anything that you're liking? Well, I see a lot of stuff I want. Yeah? Are you gonna bring something home? Not out of uh, not out of the rules of probability. Do you think do you think we're gonna sell the uh, Seika? I hope there's somebody waiting by it. Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> I didn't put my phone number on it. I just uh, I just put a for sale sign on it. So if you want it, you kind of gotta sit by it. What, what do you think of this place? It's it's cool. Definitely cool. As far as the, you the can, chaos, you can cruise around. No helmet. Nothing. I mean, literally, you just cruise around. I mean, look at it. you got stuff like that. And you just cruise around like we could go up and down this stuff we wouldn't even have to walk but uh i think you know if we saw anything it would be a pain because then hey we need to you know bust out the boost pack and get the honda or get the yamaha going yeah that's the crazy thing about this place is uh i think this might this is only my second year here but i talked to uh one of the fine law enforcement officers last year and he says as long as i don't see you killing somebody or somebody killing you I'm gonna leave you alone. Check this thing out, check this thing out. Hey, how's it going? Check this thing out. Where are you from? Are you? Thanks, dude. There's only a few select individuals that have helmets on. I don't see anybody near the Seika. Seika's uh, customer, customer list. You got all day, we have all day. She's for sale though. There is a constant blend of both the smell of motorcycles and the sound of motorcycles. Like just every second, it actually got really quiet there when I just did this entry real quick. But I mean, just a minute ago, there was like 30, 40 bikes going across here. And right over here, they're racing. Holy crap, they're flying. You almost bit it. Look at that. Look at that. They definitely went ahead and got some. Everything is vintage here. It's got to be like class. 20 years or older. So that's why we brought the Seika. The Seika is made in '93. Kind of worked out that I have a really old ride. But these guys, these guys are cruising. Because it's old doesn't mean it isn't fast. That's right. We put the Seika away. That's at uh, Jason's truck right now. We're letting that cool down, and then we're gonna tinker with it because it's just not running right. Uh, there's got to be some sort of fuel issue. We'll try to figure it out when we get back to the truck. So I'm riding the Honda XL 175 and it's treating me good. And I then this here last year for 350 bucks. 350 bucks. 350 bucks. And now it's worth like three times that, right? We had a sign on it for 500 bucks. Uh-huh. And he said, uh, has compression, has fuel, no spark. We should we should call that guy and see if he still has that pit bike that we saw. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, we can. And then Jason's riding the, the monkey bike over here. How's that treating you? Uh, needs work. Look at all the people, holy smokes. That was like team, team chick right there. Can we get a wave? No, no waves, no, no, no. no we're, we're not wanted here. I guess not everybody's a fan of the wave. I just got done ripping this small little track here they got for the kids, or maybe it's for everybody, I don't know. I, I guess if you're using ancient technology, the stuff isn't the fastest and isn't the most torquey. So I guess it could be for everybody, but Jason's on there now. We're sharing his 175 because this thing, I don't think, I would probably break my neck with this thing. You know, the whole no tread on my tires, well, no knobbies. And just like that, the bikes are back home in New York State. We left Ohio, passed through Pennsylvania, and the bikes are sitting right here all in one piece. We tinkered around with the, the Seika fuel, and we found out that on on, it may not really work, but on prime, it definitely does. It could very well work on 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 but it's got a vacuum system so the engine has to be running anyways the battery's completely dead on this thing and hopefully it's just that so jason stayed at a hotel last night he's gonna meet up with me in a little bit so i figured i'll just go to battery shop and find something and then uh, see if it's gonna work we'll charge it charge it for tomorrow's video and see if it works so if you want to see this thing potentially run you're gonna have to check out the next 3d machines production i hope you guys enjoyed this 3d machines production i saw a couple of machine freaks out there i'm glad you said hi 
Anyway, stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines, the Seika, and those two uh, things out. Yeah.